Shalom. All praises, honor, glorification unto our power. Call Halim La Alahayana wa Yahweh Bahashim. Yahweh Shai Bahashim Harakakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations as well as health and wellness unto the elect of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai scattered across the earth. This is your brother Ayla coming to you with another lesson. Now, Lord willing, this lesson will be entitled, Set Pride to the Side, or Thou of a Surety Shalt Die. Right? And, um, you know, <clears throat> through the Spirit, I have a good amount of uh, scriptures to bring out. So this will probably be a, you know, somewhat of a lengthy, a lengthy lesson. And maybe around like 33 minutes, 30 minutes. You know, but, um. Lord will in the elect of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai be edified. And, um, you know, let's just get straight to it. Ultimately, I just want to get these scriptures, you know. You know, it's pretty much straight to the point. Set pride to the side or thou of a surety shall die. And, you know, ultimately the scriptures will elaborate on the title. You know, the scriptures that you know, through the spirit I had planned to bring you out. <clears throat> so, well, first, we can uh, get the definition of pride, but I want to get it in the blue letter. My pride, arrogance, self-esteem, you know, um, but I want to find the, the right point. You know, because like these, you know. Okay, self-image. Notice this is speaking of self, right? But I want to find the right point. Here we go. Vanity. These are the points, right? Vanity. Let's see. Um, vainglory. Right? Swollen head, head, uh, headedness. Big headedness. Right? Haughtiness. Egotism. Self admiration. Self glorification. Which, like, self-love, self-esteem, you know, those weren't really the point. Let me look up self-esteem. Confidence in one's own work. Yeah, that's not the point. You know, you're supposed to have confidence, especially as men, you know. So, but it's just a matter of where, it's just a matter of what's the source of your confidence, you know. Ultimately, the source of our confidence should be Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, like we didn't bring ourselves into the truth. We didn't, you know, you may be in a good estate, you know, whether it be financially or whatever, but ultimately you didn't have that happen. The Lord had that happen, you know? So, but yeah, self esteem, dignity, and honor, self respect, those aren't the point. You know, really in number three, right? Number three. Some of the words in there. Right? So, um, but you know, getting the scriptures. Let's see, uh, first scripture. Let's get the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter three and verse twenty eight. In the punishment of the proud there is no remedy, for the plan of wickedness have taken root in him. <laughs> Right, next scripture, let's see, Ecclesiastes chapter 5 and verse 3. And say not, who shall control me for my works? For the Lord will surely revenge thy pride. Matter of fact, um, uh, a part of the reason, you know, or a big factor regarding the reason, you know, of why, uh, you know, the you know, regarding why the things that are to come 
and or the things that are to come and the things that are at the doorstep are so is because of pride. So lucky if that sounded, you know, super confusing. Let me see. Uh, and this, But this will elaborate on that. Second Edges chapter 8 and verse 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world. Why? Because they have walked in great pride. So pride is um a big fa a big reason you know for why th the things to come are so right are gonna come you see once again second address 8 and 50 for many great miseries shall be done to them that latter time i'm sorry to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride Right and pride go before destruction and an holy spirit before a fall. You know, that's why we ought to remain, you know, humble. And we ought to mean we ought to um <clears throat> Yeah, we ought to remain humble. So uh the next scripture let's see uh that was Ecclesiastes five and three. Let's get the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 7. Pride is hateful before the most high end, man, and by doth one, I'm sorry, and by both doth one commit iniquity. You see? Let's see. Uh, Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 2. Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 2. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly is wisdom. Ecclesiastes 28 and 3. I'm sorry, 23 and 8. The water you held by Shemi, I was shy. Ecclesiastes chapter 23 and verse 8. The sinner shall be left in his foolishness. Both the evil speaker and the proud shall fall by thereby. Right, because, you know, being proud is foolishness in itself. Let's see, uh, Proverbs 18 and 12. Pretty much a classic. Proverbs 18 and 12. Before destruction, a heart of man is haughty, and before honor is humility. You see? You know? And it will behoove you to keep that in mind before honor is humility. Let's see, uh, Proverbs 16 and 5. Everyone that is proud in heart, mean in mind, is an abomination to the Lord. Though hand join in hand, he shall not be unpunished. <laughs> Let's see, uh, Proverbs 29 and 23. A man's pride shall bring him low, but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. Right? And that's beautiful. I'm going to read that again. Pro Lord willing. Proverbs 29 and 23. A man's pride shall bring him low, but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. You see? <laughs> Let's see, uh, James chapter 4 and verse 6, bear with me. James 4 and 6, but he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, the most high resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Verse 7, submit yourselves therefore, which submitting yourself under something is, um, you know, humble in itself, right? That's a show of humility. Right? Just like the woman. She ought to be submissive. Which is what? That shows humility. Which is how the woman ought to be. And not just women. Us men ought to be humble. And submit ourselves under Yahweh Bashmi Shai, Right? Because there's an order. You have the Heavenly Father. You have His Son. You have the man. Then you have the woman. Right? You see? 
uh, James four and eight again. Draw oh, no Salakia seven. Submit yourselves therefore to the Most High. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Right, which you see that example when uh, you know um. You know when our Lord was tempted. When you read uh, what is that Matthew the fourth chapter? Yeah. <clears throat> so our Lord resisted. You know, and uh, what happened? You know, ultimately, uh, let's read this, Matthew 20, uh, Salakia, Matthew 4 and 11. Then the devil leaveth him, and behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Right, resist the devil and he will flee from you. You see, just regarding that point, you know, <clears throat> let's see, um, let's get Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 18. Pride go before destruction and an haughty spirit before a fall. Almost said Paul. Verse 19, better it, is, better it is to be of an humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. Galatians, Galatians chapter 6 and verse 3. Pretty much I'm just going through the scriptures that, you know, I have written down through the spirit. Proverbs, um, Salakia, Galatians 6 and 3. For if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. See that? That's beautiful right there. Proverbs 27 and 2. And Salakia, for any noise in the background. Proverbs 27 and 2. Let another man praise thee and not thine own mouth. A stranger and not thine own lips. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 8 and verse 13. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, which pride is evil. Pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the forward mouth do I hate. And we ought to hate those things. Along with, you know, well, ultimately... Yeah, you know, we ought to hate those things. Right? Let's see, uh, Jeremiah chapter 9 and verse 23. Jeremiah 9 and 23, thus saith the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. <clears throat> let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him that glory of glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am the Lord which exercise love and kindness, judgment and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, saith the Lord. <clears throat> so lucky. Let's see. Uh... <clears throat> Chapter 12 and verse 16, be of the same mind one toward another, mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate, be not wise in your own conceits. And let's get going to that word, um, condescend, right, because it mentioned to condes condescend to men of low estate. Notice, uh, descend is in the word condescend. Which means to stoop, descend, stoop, uh, drop, right? So, let's see, uh, let's see if there's a point in here. To yield to submit oneself to lowly things, conditions, condescend, carry no. Let's just do this. Here we go. Uh, number two, stoop, descend, lower oneself, humble oneself. Right, so we ought to condescend to men of low estate, you know, debase oneself. Right, let's see, uh, look at that, come down from one's high horse, you know. So let's see, uh, next scripture, First Peter 5 and 5, <clears throat> hold tight, let me. Right, 
First Peter chapter 5 and verse 5. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yeah, all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. That's the point. For the most high resist of the proud and give it grace to the humble. Verse 6, humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of the most high, that he may exalt you in due time. Verse 7, casting all your care upon him, for he cared for you. You know, a matter of fact, this is the book of uh, Matthew 23 and 12. I believe this is it. Yep. Because it said um, that he may exalt you in due time. Right? Matthew 23 and 12. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. Right? And he that shall humble himself shall be exalted, of course, in due time. So, you know, that's why that shows you why we have to uh, humble ourselves. Right? Because exaltation, you know, is going to come in due time, right? Also, um, what was that, Proverbs 18 and 12? Yeah. Um, and before honor is humility, right? So the glory is coming, brothers. You know, the honor, right? The exaltation, you know, the, the women. <clears throat> the kingdom, man. The kingdom is coming. Right, and within the kingdom will be many different aspects, man. There's many aspects within the kingdom. There's many, you know, factors, so on and so forth. The scriptures tell you, I have not seen. Let me get that really quick. Isaiah chapter 64 and verse 4. For since the beginning of the world, men have not heard nor perceived by the ear, neither hath the eye seen, O power, beside thee what he hath prepared for him that waited for him. Right, 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. But, that is, but as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which the Most High have prepared for them that love him. Right? So let's see, uh, next scripture. Oh, let's go to the book of Luke. No, no, no. Luke chapter 18 and verse. <clears throat> verse 9. And he spake this parable unto certain which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Two men went up to pray. I'm sorry. Two men went up into the temple to pray. The one a Pharisee and the other a publican. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself. The Most High, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. I fast twice in the week. I give tits of all that I possess. And the publican standing afar off would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast. <laughs> Meaning his chest, saying, The Most High be merciful unto me. I'm sorry. Saying, The Most High be merciful to me, a sinner. Verse 14, I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone that exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. Right? You know? And can try come on man. Okay, let's see. Psalms 34 and 18, the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, right, mind, and save it such as be of a contrite spirit. Psalms 51 and 17, the sacrifices of the Most High are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O power thou will not despise. Right, which uh, is going to the word contrite. What was that? Psalms 51 and 17. Psalms. 
51, 17. To see contrite. To crush, be crushed, be contrite, be broken. Right? Crouch. Remorseful, repentant, sorry, full of regret, apologetic, self-reproachful, refuel, sheepish, right? That's how we ought to be, sheepish, man. Uh, ashamed, regretful, remorseful, shame-faced, conscience-stricken, guilt-ridden, and sackcloth and ashes, you know, um, so on and so forth. Right, and we read uh, in the book of Luke, you know, we read uh, th that parable, right, Luke 18 and 14, I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For everyone that is, um, for everyone that exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. Right, honor Humility before honor. I think I, yeah. Got it mixed up. I think I got it mixed up when I said something before. Right? But it's humility before honor. Not honor before humility. I think that's what I said. Satan, man. But no, I meant, um. Humility before honor. Proverbs 18 and 12, before destruction, the heart of man is haughty. And before honor is humility. So humility comes first. Then comes the honor, right? Just for clarity's sake. You know, Salakia. Let's see, uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 21 and verse 4. To terrify and do wrong will waste riches. Thus the house of proud men shall be made desolate. Let's see, um, Ecclesiastic is 1 and 30. Yeah, this is beautiful. Exalt not thyself, lest thou fall, and bring dishonor upon thy soul. And so the Most High discover thy secrets, and cast thee down in the midst of the congregation, because thou camest not in truth to the fear of the Lord, but thy heart is full of deceit, like thy mind. Let's see, a few more scriptures. Let me see where we're at. Yeah, it'll probably be about 30 minutes. And let's see um, the book of Proverbs, chapter 21, and verse 4. And hide look in a proud heart, and the plowing of the wicked is sin. Let's see. Ecclesiastes, chapter 10, and verse 12. The beginning of pride is when one departed from the Most High, and his heart is turned away from his Maker. Verse 13, for pride is the beginning of sin, and he that hath it shall pour out abomination, and therefore the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. The Lord hath cast down the thrones of proud princes and set up the meek in their stead. 15, the Lord hath plucked up the root, uh, the roots of, of the proud nations and planted the lowly in their place. So how much more, you know, Esau, right, the nation of Esau, they're going to be plucked up, man. You see? Um, let's see. Yeah, 15. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 18. Pride was not made for men, nor furious anger for them that are born of a woman. Right, matter of fact, regarding that, nor furious anger for them that are made of a woman. Let's see, where is it at? Um, Ecclesiasticus chapter 1 and verse 22. A furious man cannot be justified, for the sway of his fury shall be his destruction. Right, but um, sticking to the point, 
Let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes 10 and 21. The fear of the Lord go before the obtaining of authority, but roughness and pride is the losing thereof. Let's see. All right. And Lord willing, we'll end it. I'll end it with this. Right. The book of Isaiah, chapter 2 and verse 11. The lofty looks of man shall be humble, and the hardiness of men shall be bowed down, and the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. Verse 12, for the day of the Lord of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty, and upon everyone that is lifted up, and he shall be brought low. So with that, Lord willing, you are edified once again and forever. All praises, honor, and glorification unto our power. Salafia. Call Halayim la Alahayin awa Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shai Bahashim Harakakwadash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations as well as health and wellness unto the elect of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai scattered across the earth. See you in the next lesson, Lord willing. And um, Lord willing, I'll do a second part, which will be, because I don't want this to be too long, so. Lord will I now do a second part, which will be um, exhort to be meek, right, or something of that nature. So see you in the next lesson, Lord willing. Why Yahweh by Shimi Yahushai Baba Kasha Abad Baba Wa Shalom DTA soon.